me that could only mean one thing Ever since I left the city Hey, we are June's Diary And you're checking out Your, your music, my world so you know y'all released your video for Lance in June at the BET Awards and since then it's got like a great response. How was it just receiving all that love from everybody and you know putting out your debut video? Um, no, but us debuting our video on the BET Awards alone was a huge accomplishment right. and then, you know, for everybody to see it and we were just so emotional. Um, but it was fun. We were, we it were was, holding each other. It was surreal. Yeah. yeah. We were holding each I other. I cried a little bit. While we watched it's a little <laughs> <tears. laughs> I mean, it's the BET Awards. It's right. our awards. So right. it's the awards we've been waiting to go to and be at for like our whole life. Yeah. So it was a dream come true. Okay, okay. So, you know, in the first season of Chasing Destiny, we saw the making of which is now June's Diary. And, you know, it's been like an instant hit. Would it be a second season? Will we be seeing like what you guys been going through in the studio? You know, doing interviews and shows like that. We don't know. BT better bring y'all back because yeah, that was a good show. Even. Right. <laughs> so we do post like our behind the scenes and stuff on our diary. And you mm -hmm. guys can check that out. It's on our YouTube page. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna Okay, so we know that you guys have been working on the studio, working on new music. Can you tell us like what kind of um, songwriters and producers you've been in the studio with so far? Um, well, on Lance, we work with Cam Parker and Hayes. Um, Harmony Samuels, he did Ariana Grande, The Way. We did Dim Joints, he did uh, Rihanna Cockiness. Um, who else? Um, Z Mile, oh God, that record, all, all of them really, really dope records. Like we're trying to stay true to R&B, mm -hmm. so of course we're hoping for um, some more people to come along and work with us, like maybe a Pharrell or uh -huh. a Dream or um, R. Timberlaine, R. Kelly. You know, we never know, but yeah, we got some really, really good stuff on there. Okay, well, with Lance being now, and you know, it's getting all the radio play and it's getting views, a lot of views on YouTube. Do you guys have a second single planned? That we should well, be expecting. Correct. It's always. always <laughs> you know, I like to be nosy. Can we get a little hint or something? You know, a little. I gotta. At least a release date. Say, <laughs> there's a lot of things that we, I gotta be honest. There's a lot of things that we want to do mm -hmm. and that we want to release. But at the end of the day, I think even though we we're true to us, it's up to the label at the end of the day. So I think that our fans should really reach out and let the label know what they want to hear from us because, I mean, they're, they're the audience. Right. You know what I mean? So I think if you're a fan, you should definitely be reaching out to Epic and letting them know what you want to hear from June's Diary because we want to give them what they want as well. So y'all want more music? Y'all want more videos? Y'all want y'all want an EP right now? <laughs> let Epic know. Because we do what we can do, and we want to give the fans what they want. We just want to get the music out right. right. in any way, shape, or form. I think we would release music every two weeks. If we could, if we could, and everything. We're always talking about new ideas. Yeah. Right, right. But, but that, that's why we sing a lot on Snap, and mm -hmm. any chance we get to show our creativity, we try to do that because we know it's not really, you know, possible for us to release songs every two weeks. But, right. Right. I was just gonna say we're fresh, we're new, so we want to just make sure that we get something good to you guys. And I know that all of us are perfectionists to a certain extent. So if we we've done over thirty songs, and of course it's hard to put all that into like one little package, mm -hmm. but sometimes giving people just a little taste is what they need in order to get us ready for the bigger picture. But like she said, we would release songs every single day if we could. I mean, y'all y'all want to sing something real quick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but. June's Diary is a new group, but most of you have been in the industry for a while, doing backup for other singers and performing as solo artists. How hands-on are you when it comes to working with different producers and songwriters and choosing the songs that you are going to put out on your album? Very, yes. Very hands-on. Uh, we make sure that we basically put our hands in any song that we touch. So if it comes to us and it's done already, we say, okay, well kind of going to pull that apart and put our own little piece on it or can we we're going to write the bridge or we're going to write the verse or we just make sure that anything that we do regardless if we wrote it or somebody else wrote it we make it into it's going to be ours yeah so we're very hands-on 
And I do have to ask the question about Lance. Because at first I'm like, Lance, what is that? But then when I heard lying ass nigga cheat every day, I'm like, oh, these girls ain't playing. <laughs> How did that song like come about? Like, what made you think of, okay, we're going to Lance as like the first single? Um, well, uh, I think it was an idea of ours because we, uh, we always hear male male artists have songs about girls, right? Like mm -hmm. Olivia, or Hey There Delilah, or Roxanne, or things like that. Um, and we haven't heard like girls do that. So we were like, we should have a guy's name, you know? Um, and, and that kind of spread around, and then we, and then we worked with Kim Parker, right? And um, so yeah, that, that came around. But it's a plan, it's right there yeah. first. Yeah. Cause you know y'all got girls out here calling every dude Lance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better say we want. Don't want Lance. Okay, so. I know Kelly Rowland and Frank Ganson helped create it, you guys, as you know, as the group. And you know, they've been in the industry for a while. What kind of advice have they given you guys? Because you know, with groups, even male or female, you know, they tend to butt heads sometimes. What advice have they given y'all to stay as tight knit and friends, so like there won't be a breaking up or anything? Um, yeah. Um, I guess communication and honesty would probably be very important. Um, if we're open to each other, really nothing can go wrong. Um, there's there's no lying, there's no cheating, there's no nothing. So um, as long as we're open with communication, I think. Yeah. And I think the way that we were put together as well, it allowed us to bond in mm -hmm. a different way. It's kind right. of, it kind of was like us becoming a sorority together. So just them giving us that experience was teaching us how to respect each other, respect our differences, and, you know, to become sisters. Okay. I would have to say stay out of your own way was probably one of the most pivotal when it came to us, simply because a lot of times we don't think about the four people sitting beside us. We don't think about family or friends when we're doing certain things, but at the end of the day, we want this to last for as long as it can, so we have to be very, very serious about how we conduct ourselves as females solo mm -hmm. and as females as a group. So I think staying out of our own way has just been that, it's been niched into our minds. Um, I would have to say remain humble. Never forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. you know, always have that with you. And then we all kind of, we do that a lot with each other. We always, hey, now, come back. Come back, <laughs> yeah, come on down. Come back on down. But, you know, we have, our, we have our moments. And they always let us know, you know, remain humble at all times. People love us because of that. Okay. Um, Gabby kind of said it. Um, just... Having the experience of a group, communication is probably the best thing that we can do as a group. Be very transparent with each other, and anytime there's a problem, mm -hmm. making sure that we put it out there, deal with it, and move forward. But I do have to add, work hard. Okay. Like, you can never, it's never a moment where we should be like, okay, we don't have nothing to do. We should be working hard at all times. And that's for anybody who's trying to do anything or, mm -hmm. you know, find a career or whatever, whether it's photography, whether it's, I don't know, uh, cleaning for us. <laughs> just work hard to do what you do. Right. So, yeah. Three C's. Commitment, communication, and consideration. You can't go wrong. There we go. So how would you describe y'all's music, like, that you're making right now? Like, how would you describe it? We sang. <laughs> well, we know y'all sang. R&B. That's what's been missing for so long. Mm -hmm. R&B. That's all I can say. Okay. Well, what you saying that R&B has been missing? There's, you know, I know y'all know, like, pretty, like, a lot of people have been saying, like, R&B is missing and it's been dead. Like, how do you feel where R&B is going right now? I think it's kind of evolving from where it, where it started, just talking about your experiences and what you go through, whether it be love, whether it be friendships, whether it be going to school and being stressed out or you know I think it's just you telling your story and other people connecting with that and I think that was the most important thing for us because we're five different women so we have five different types of girls that we connect with and just having that show and the music I think that's what R&B is. When it comes to artists people always like to compare them to each other. What is it like when people try to compare June's Diary to Fifth Harmony? I think people are going to do whatever they want all the time. <laughs> and you can't really stop people's opinions right. or whether or not they compare us. Um, but I think that there's room for all of us. Um, we're 10 beautiful women and 10 talented musicians. And I think there's no reason why we can't make music together instead of against each other. 
I think that anybody's gonna compare. I think that's like human nature. Mm -hmm. When you see something, you automatically have to compare it to something like it, and then something like it, something like it. It's just natural. Mm -hmm. So we definitely expect it all the time, but we're definitely June's diary. Okay, okay. So you know you're on the the mini tour right now. New York's tomorrow, right? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, yes, and I heard that sold out. Congratulations yes. on that, SOB. Thank you. That's a good place to be sold out at. A lot of legends came from there. Yes. What's yes. next for June's Diary, you know, after the tour? Like, what can we expect? You know, music. Music. <laughs> music. Yeah. More shows. Yeah. Getting, getting ourselves out there. Hopefully, we can do like a circuit at college towns and mm-hmm. high schools. We want to be able to communicate with the fans on different campuses but that would be really really fun but of course yeah i would say look forward to us coming to a city near you Yes. Right. Well, I'm glad y'all came to Philly on this yes. tour. I'm like, oh, yes. they go to tour? Please come to Philly. Um, <laughs> being on, I went to call it a reality show, like Kelly Rowling said it's a docuseries, but there are a lot of singers who come from the reality show and then try to be a singer. Do you think it's a struggle to have people recognize y'all as June's Diary and not the girls from Chasing Destiny? No, I think that's what we are. You know what yeah. I mean? We are the girls from Chasing Destiny, and we're also June's Diary. Yeah. I think that that makes us who we are as a group today and mm-hmm. we embrace that whole It was yeah. our platform. Right. right. Yeah. And, and we appreciate and love Kelly and Frank and BET for even, even giving us the opportunity for people to see us on that platform because maybe it wouldn't be as big if we just came together as June's mm-hmm. Diary off screen and tried to come out and, you know, do records. It probably wouldn't be as big. So. We don't mind it. Yeah. Some people say, oh, it's Chasing Destiny. They don't even know what that is. But it's fine as long as they know. Right. And in I, addition, it's always fun to gain u- unique fans, mm-hmm. new fans. So that's a part of the journey. So the more we do music, the more we come out to shows and, and perform for you guys, we want to make sure that someone is becoming a new fan. So that's what the journey is about. Well, y'all know I seen the show, and y'all know y'all had to get up like at four in the morning or something. Uh-huh. Are y'all still doing that and getting up and dancing and oh, getting right? Nice. <laughs> we have flights, we don't sleep. Like, yeah, I'll go over to Ash's house and we'll like be awake packing <laughs> and like okay, it's three a.m. Let's go. So yeah, <laughs> and makeup and calls work, and like work now, work, yes, workouts yeah. early in the morning, of course. Yeah. Early bird gets to work. I, I, I,